Hi guys, my name's Marissa, also known as Homemaking with Marissa here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you along with me while I prepare dinner for my family. We're going to be having French onion chicken with some roasted vegetables and garlic toast. If you're new to my channel, I post lifestyle videos here on YouTube. I am a wife and mother to three boys. I try to find ways to make easy, affordable recipes, as well as simple meal prep, meal planning, grocery hauls, and cleaning motivation. I also will provide parenting tips from time to time. I have been a mother for 15 years and want to empower other women to feel like they too can get it all done. If you haven't done so already, please hit the red subscribe button as well as turning on bell notifications so that you don't miss when I upload. I'm going to start this recipe by making the sauce for our chicken. We're just going to put one tablespoon of avocado oil into a skillet on medium low heat and thinly slice one white onion. We want to make sure that our temperature stays very low when we're cooking these onions because we don't want them to burn. We just want them to release all of their juices and get nice and translucent. I'm now just adding some pre-minced garlic. My store doesn't currently have any sort of fresh garlic, so currently we're just using this tube of pre-minced. Once I've sauteed my onions for probably about 20 minutes. I am then going to add one tablespoon of this chicken bouillon. If I had beef on hand, I would have used beef bouillon instead. We're trying to be disciplined about not going to the grocery store unless we really are needing to pick something up. I'm currently doing monthly grocery hauls, so if I don't have it, I'm not going to go to the store just for a couple of items. Next, I'm going to add one packet of onion soup mix. I'm going to make sure that this gets really well incorporated before adding just some water. I am going to add three-fourths of a cup of water just to thin this out and turn it into a sauce. Your sauce comes together we're just going to remove it from the fry pan and get started on our chicken. I used two large chicken breasts for this recipe and I just cut each breast into thirds. Using the same fry pan I am going to heat one tablespoon of avocado oil over medium heat. To season our chicken I'm going to use garlic powder I don't really follow recipes when I'm cooking. I just shake the seasoning on until I think it looks right. Put in it what I think is going to taste good. Fresh cracked pepper. This whole circumstance has really forced me. I do it anyway. I'm pretty creative and just kind of wing dinner most nights, but it's really forced me to think a little bit outside the box and come up with meals out of items that I already have. Next, I'm adding this onion salt. This is from Trader Joe's. If you don't have this, you could use onion powder and then just some regular seasoning salt. Once everything is pretty well seasoned, you can see it's pretty well coated on the chicken. Just going to stick it, this won't all fit in this frying pan. Probably should have used a bigger one to start with. But I'm just going to cook our chicken for five minutes on each side. I realized when I was editing this that my camera was not actually recording when I was cooking the chicken. You can see what it looks like there on the right. 
I then moved on to our vegetables in the same fry pan. I just took some sliced mushrooms, started sauteing those for maybe a minute, and broke some asparagus into smaller bite-sized pieces. Once we've combined our asparagus and mushrooms, I'm just going to dump the reserved sauce on top of the chicken. My children do not like melted cheese, and one of my children actually has a dairy allergy. So I will only be putting some sliced mozzarella on about a third of this dish, just enough for my husband and I's servings. I would have used Swiss if I had any, but mozzarella was the only cheese that I had in the house, so that's what I'm using. I was going to make potatoes with this initially, but then I decided that because it was a French onion soup type chicken, I would instead make some garlic toast and it would be kind of like the crouton inside of the soup. I am just using this Earth Balance dairy-free butter to put on the top of our toast, as well as the same seasonings that I used for the chicken. So it's just some garlic powder and then that onion salt. You can see this is what our bread looks like before we're going to stick it into the oven. The bread that I'm using is the Dave's Killer Bread, the Right Done Right, which is my family's absolute favorite. It has a little bit better ingredients than some standard white breads, but has white bread flavor, so my children really enjoy it. I then stuck everything into the oven. The chicken went in for 25 minutes at 350 degrees, and then the last five minutes, I just added our garlic toast. This is what it all looks like when it's done. This dish was such a huge hit in my family. It's pretty rare that when I make dinner, every single member of my household eats all of their dinner. And on this particular night, not only did they eat everything that was on their plate, but two of my children asked for seconds. This is definitely something that we will be making again. If you have recipes that are family favorites in your household, please comment them down below. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face on the right side of your screen. If you would like to watch additional videos that I have filmed, there is one for you on the left side of your screen. I hope that you are all staying happy and healthy. Bye!